So now that we've completed our Solix 4.13 update, um, we're going to go ahead and update the Mega Live on this boat as well as the three, Mega 360 transducer. Um, so again, we're going to go back into the Solix files that we extracted earlier. Um, we are going to go in, we're going to find the Mega Live, which is version 1.2. We are going to drag and drop that onto our SD card. We're going to go down and we're going to find the Mega 360 1.07 update. And we're also going to drag and drop that onto the SD card. Open up our SD card, make sure we have the right updates in there. Um, now we're going to go ahead and head back out to the boat and finish off our installs for the Mega Live and the Mega 360. All right, so now we're back in the boat. We've just finished off our uh, Solix 4.13 update. Um, it's now finished, so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna hit the home button here. It's gonna take us back to our screens. Going to scroll over. We're going to put our SD card in that we put the Mega Live and Mega 360 uh, updates in. The other thing we need to remember is when we're doing uh, the Mega Live and these updates on land, uh, for the transducer to start up and recognize, uh, we need to have it in a pail of water. Um, so we've deployed the transducer, we've got it placed in a bucket of water so that it starts up. We've gone to the files uh, section in our homepage, we've plugged in the card. Now we see our options come up. So current Mega Live version is 1.17. Uh, we are going to download 1.2 of the Mega Live. So now we just hit install now. So now we just wait. Make sure you leave your card um, inside the machine. Make sure that the transducer stays in the water. Um, and this could take, you know, eight, 10 minutes. Um, so we're just going to wait and then we will go to step two. All right, so our Mega Live update is now done. Uh, when we look at the uh, accessory screen here um, that we left it on, when the machine came back from the updating screen, uh, we don't see that there's any updates available for the Mega Live uh, because it's now been complete. Now, just to check, we are going to hit the home button. And then we're going to go into our settings. We're going to go um, into our network info. And we're going to look down here. So we've got our Mega Live transducer shows up uh, with the version 1.2. So we now know that our Mega Live has been fully updated. So now we are going to move on to updating the Mega Live or the uh, Mega 360. We can put this up now and we'll just pull ahead like yeah. 20 feet and then we'll put the water, that thing in the water. Now, okay, now we have our Mega 360 um, inside a pail of water. So now again, we're going to go into our files. So it is already the newest version. <laughs> okay, so now we are going to update this uh, Altera motor. Um, it has iPilot link, so we are going to update the iPilot link head as well as the remote. So in order to do this, uh, we're going to plug in the motor. Uh, we are going to turn the motor on with our power button and we're going to turn our remote on. And we're going to, if we haven't already, download uh, the Minn Kota iPilot Link app on our, in this case, Apple phone. Um, so we've done all that. Then what we're going to do is we're going to go into our settings in our phone. We are going to go to Bluetooth. So we're going to zoom in on here. We're going to click on Bluetooth and we're going to go over to our motor. And there's a pair button 
We're going to hold the pair button down. And then we're going to click on the iPilot link. And now we are linked to our motor. So we've heard those extra beeps showing that we're connected. Now we are going to go back to our iPilot link app. So now we're in our iPilot link app. Um, we are now connected to the motor. We are going to click and we're going to do an iPilot linked software update. And how we got into that is on the main menu. We got a little menu tab up at the top. We're going to click on that. We are going to click on iPilot link software update. So now we've got the controller head version and the remote version. So there's new software available for this one. We're going to begin update, then continue. So now we're going to let the download finish. Um, so basically we're using our phone, we're updating the controller head, and then we're sending the update through the controller head to the remote. After this update is complete, uh, we will go through and then we will do the final uh, update on the remote control and check and make sure we have all the newest versions on our controller head and our remote. Okay, so now we've, the updates um, been transferred off of our phone. A couple things to remember while the update is going on, make sure your phone uh, stays within range of the motor itself so that it can complete the update properly. Uh, this method of updating your iPilot and iPilot remote uh, can be used for both the iPilot and iPilot link series. Now the iPilot link can also be updated um, through your fish finder, uh, but the easiest way to do it um, is off of your phone. And you can do this uh, exact same method for both types of motors. Um, the iPilot app is different than the iPilot link app, so make sure that you download the appropriate app. So now the last step is we are going to go into our iPilot link remote here. And we are going to scroll all the way down to the very bottom where it says system. We're going to click on system. We're going to arrow down to the update software button. And no new software found. So this motor before this has been updated to the newest versions. But if your motor was out of date, um, and the older versions were installed on it. This is the exact way that you would go through uh, to update both your remote and head controller. Um, so you would just go into there. It would give you the prompt to update the software on your remote control. You'd go ahead and select that. And now you'd be completely up to date on your iPilot or iPilot link system. That's it.